Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit one of my YouTube videos. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I wanted to do something based around editing something inside of Premiere Pro, something that you guys can follow if you're creating your own YouTube videos, because like I said in, I believe, the last video, I want to do more videos around being YouTubers and get away from just all the Twitch streaming stuff. I want to do some editing stuff, some YouTube stuff, some videography stuff to help all the new YouTubers out there. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit one of my videos. We're just going to be editing one that I had on the channel recently a couple weeks ago and I'm gonna show you guys all the tips and things that I come up with as I'm editing and all the shortcuts that I take to where I can edit a video in literally just a couple hours and get it posted to YouTube so without further ado we're gonna jump inside of Premiere Pro I've got the footage shot for the video and we're gonna import it in and we're gonna begin editing one of my YouTube videos all right, guys, we are inside of Premiere Pro, and one of the first things I want to point out is something that will speed up your editing a ton if you make videos like mine. So if you make videos where you have the same intro or outro or a very specific style of video that you make like I do, where it's kind of the same thing every single time, I've got my intro, and then I've got like my social media callouts, I've got my outro, things like that, having a template is going to speed up your workflow a lot. And I've talked about this before. You might think a template sounds really hard to do and really complicated, but it literally just means a Premiere Pro file saved with all the things on the timeline that you already need. So right here inside of Premiere Pro, you'll see that I just opened up this project and you see up here, it's the Bravity template project. And all it is, is all the music I use down here on the timeline. We've got my intro here already in place. We've got my social media callouts. If you scroll to the end here, you see I've got my outro already in place and it's just a timeline pre-built to where I don't have to put this stuff in every time. So I open up the template project and then what you want to do is you want to go up here to file and then you want to hit save as and you you want to save it as what your current video you're working on is so it saves it as a new project so you still have your template project nice and clean with only the stuff on there you can open up the template project every single time save it as the current video you're working on so you don't destroy your template and it stays there to open every single time so we've got the template open and now it's time to save it as whatever video we're working on and then import our footage all right, so I've got the project saved as my new project. Now it's time to begin importing some footage. So I'm gonna drop it into my footage folder here. You'll see I've already got all these folders created inside of my project window where I can just drop in all of my assets that I need. It helps me stay organized when I don't have to create a new folder every time for my footage, my assets, my music, things like that. It's already created right here. So I can just drag it and drop it in. So we've got the footage imported and you're gonna notice something a little bit strange about my footage here. You're gonna notice that it's very, very long and that is because of my OBS files. So inside of OBS, my base canvas size for recording is 3840 by 1080. Now that might sound like a very strange aspect ratio, and it is. You'll see it right here in Premiere Pro. It's very long, and that is because the 3840 is two full HD clips right next to each other. So the way I shoot inside of OBS is I have two sources. I have my camera source, which is the camera I'm shooting on here, the Canon C200, running into my computer through a cam link inside of OBS, and that is on the right side. And then on the left side, side, I have my screen recording when I'm working in Premiere Pro like I am now, or if I'm working inside of After Effects or doing anything, I've got the screen capture on one side and the camera layer on the other side, all inside of one file. So I don't have multiple files to mess with. I don't have camera footage and then a separate screen recording clip that I got to mess with and sync up inside of Premiere. They're already pre-synced because they're in the same file. They're next to each other. So then inside of Premiere Pro, I can crop them down and duplicate them. So I have both the files that I need to create a video inside of just one file file. This is a really interesting way to make videos. I can't remember who I saw first doing this, but I know I got it from somebody who did something very similar, but it's just a really clean way to keep just one file and you've got your camera footage that's in full HD and you've got your screen recording in full HD as well inside of one file. So here we go. We've got the footage here and what I'm going to immediately do is I'm going to drop it on the timeline, but I'm not going to drop it inside of my intro and outro right here because usually my footage is very long um, because I take a while to record. So I'm going to drop it outside here so that I don't destroy my outro here when it covers it up. So here's all my footage for recording the video. It's going to take a little bit to show up because it is a massive file like I showed you. It's the it's the double wide. So what I'm going to do with this footage is I'm going to duplicate it by holding down alt and just dragging up and that's just going to create a copy. And the reason we need two is like I said, we need the camera layer and then we need the screen recording layer. So inside of my effects over here, I have my presets folder and I have tons of presets for all sorts of things that I've done on my YouTube channel. 
channel. But these two ones here, the gameplay crop and the face cam crop are the most important ones here. So if I drop these on, it crops what we need. So now you see we've got one file that's just the camera layer, and then we've got one file that is just the screen recording layer. And now I can edit these separately in the full sizes that they are, and they came from one file. And then for editing my audio, I have another preset. So if I just type in compressor here, you're going to see an effect called compressor 2.5 to 1 ratio. That is what I use to edit my audio here. So I just drop that on there. And that's all I need to do to my audio because that's a preset for exactly what I want my audio editing to be. It's a very important thing to use presets when you're editing videos, when you're doing the same thing over and over again. So when you go into your effects and you start layering on effects, you can right click on the effect and you can hit save presets. You can also select multiple effects by holding down the control up there and select all these right click and save as preset and that'll save the preset of all of those so you can do all your audio effects save it as a preset all your color correction and video effects save it as a preset so you can just drop it on your footage every single time you're going to edit instead of doing those effects every single time i have tons of presets that i use whenever i'm editing and those are a couple of them the ones to crop my video layers so i can have just one file to edit my audio to color grade so now that i have all my effects on here it's time to begin editing so the way i'm going to edit and the way you should probably edit that's very efficient is to look at the waveforms down here so these are the audio waveforms waveforms and you can see how I was talking. So right here, there's a large chunk of audio right here where I'm talking. So that's probably not my intro. I'm looking for my little intro clip. So it's probably not where I'm talking for a while. It's probably these little intro tiny little blurps down here. So we're going to click on the last one because the last one is usually the best. So we're going to go ahead and click right here before the waveforms and we're going to see what I say here. Today, we're going to be talking all about alerts. I'm going to be making some alerts. I'm going to be giving you guys some alerts and I'm going to be giving you guys an asset that's going to make alert creation a lot simpler. Let's get right into it. So there is my intro that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop that out by hitting C on the keyboard and it's going to click over to the blade tool so you can cut this out. There's a lot quicker ways to do this. There are keybinds where you can just make edits immediately, but I'm going to keep it simple for you guys and just do a very basic editing. So C and V are going to be very important tools inside of Premiere Pro. C is going to take you to your blade tool. V is going to take you back to your arrow tool. So what you can do is you can hit C and like cut right here to cut out a section. And then you can hit V back here to then select and delete things, select move things. So this is our little intro here. Let's zoom out and let's go ahead and add the intro intro to the beginning of my template here. So if we drag it all the way to the beginning, we're going to go ahead and zoom in over here just like this. And we're going to butt my intro up against my graphic intro just like that. We're going to make sure that the music is extended as as far as it can. Sometimes it goes to the end, but sometimes it doesn't. And then we're just going to delete this space at the beginning by selecting the empty space, hitting delete. And now we need to add a little bit of a dissolve at the beginning. We want to delete this bottom layer here because this bottom layer is our screen recording and we don't need the screen recording for the intro. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and I'm going to select the beginning right here. You can select the clip, but you can also select the edge of it. So you can select the edge of it here and you can can select the edge over here. This is selecting the clip. I'm going to select the edge. I'm going to hit control D and that is going to add a cross dissolve to the beginning. So now if I hit play today, we're going to be talking all about alert. As you can see, I've got the cross dissolve at the beginning that I have for all of my videos. And then it goes into me doing my intro and I've already got the music in place. And then it's going to switch over to the graphic intro. Today, we're going to be talking all about alerts. I'm going to be making some alerts. I'm going to be giving you guys some alerts and I'm going to be giving you guys an asset that's going to make alert creation a lot simpler. Let's get right into it. And there we go. So as you can see, my intro music, my graphic intro, all that is already done. So now it's time to find where I do my real intro to the video. So we're going to go ahead and chop off the beginning of this. And we're going to see what I say here. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking. So it looks like I talk completely unbroken here for a while. So I know I didn't really screw up. So I'm going to go ahead and go right here to where I think I screw up. Alert creation a lot more simple. But before we get into it, I just want to. Yeah, so I did screw up right there before I say but right here. I'm about to screw up. So I'm going to cut to right here before I say but. And then right here I say but as well. So this is probably where I start back up with my correct one. So I'll go ahead and cut right there. We'll delete this part and then we'll delete the gap just like that by selecting in the gap. And now we'll play this through to see if it's smooth. Stay watching and it's going to make your alert creation a lot more simple. But before we get into it, I do just want to. So there we go. Now it cuts where I screwed up and now we're into me talking about the sponsor place it for this video so there's where i say we're gonna head into after effects so i'll chop off after that and right here i think i say here we are in after effects 
just like that. So I'm going to cut off right there, delete all this, delete the gap, and let's see that. So here we are inside of After Effects. But you'll notice one thing. When I say here we are in After Effects, I'm no longer needing to be full screen. So the way we're going to handle that is we're just going to grab this layer here, and we're just going to scale me down just like this. I normally go to about 30%, and I'm scaling up here in the uh, effects controls. That's where you scale inside of Premiere Pro. I'm also going to adjust this crop down here, and we're going to crop my webcam a little bit more so it's not so large, just kind of like that. And then we can go ahead and use the position tools to position me down into the corner. I can position myself here, or I I can position myself over on the other side but if i'm going to position myself on the other side what i'm actually going to do is come down here to my effects i'm going to type in horizontal flip just like that and we're going to apply that to this and then i'm going to go ahead and drag myself back in just like that and put myself in the corner over here so i like flipping my webcam so i'm looking towards the program if i were facing this way and just looking off the screen it would be really weird so i flipped myself i'm looking into here i've got myself down in the corner so let's go ahead and play that now and see what that looks like so here we are inside of After Effects. There you go. I've got a blank project here. I'm just going to create. So there is the transition to me being inside of After Effects with my camera down in the corner. So I'm just going to continue through editing just like this. And then I'm going to come back when I'm done cutting out all of my mistakes. All right, guys, so I just finished cutting off the very end of this video. We've got the outro in place here because I'm done doing the After Effects work. But the first thing I want to do is now make the outro full screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on them. I'm going to delete all the effects that I need to delete to make them not down in the corner. So I didn't want the horizontal flip on there anymore. I'll delete that on this one as well. And what I want to do is I want to go back to the beginning where I was full screen in the first place. You'll see I'm full screen right here. And we just want to copy the motion and we want to copy the crop from this one and then we just want to paste them on the end clip here and now you'll see that we've got it in full screen and then we can paste it on this one here as well and then just like that you'll see that we are now full screen at the end because we took the effects from the beginning when we were full screen and we paste them at the end so now it's time to add this into the actual timeline you'll remember we placed this on the outside of our video here just to make sure we didn't disrupt our outro right here so we can grab all this and we can then place it right in here but we're going to need to zoom in here to make sure we're not screwing up our intro so let's select this all again in here and let's move this in here and butt it up right here with the end of our intro and this little green area up here is our pre-added transition so it goes into our footage just like that so let's go ahead and render that little bit because you see it's red so we're gonna hit i and o around this red part just like that and then we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna render out so that we have this little red piece rendered so we can play it and show you guys what the uh, intro looks like and there we go so we've already got that laid out there. We've got the Twitter popping up. We've got the intro music right here already in here. We've got the callouts right here. We've got my Twitch callout that I've actually been deleting recently because I haven't been streaming on Twitch. So I haven't been doing a callout to the Twitch as much recently. And now we need to head to the end. We need to grab our intro stuff and we need to butt this stuff up against the end. So we're gonna slide this in just like that. Cool. So that is the outro right there all done on the end. And that is pretty much it for editing an entire video. I always recommend you try to watch through your entire video before you export it and maybe even once after you export it to make sure the export didn't ruin anything but you just want to make sure you catch any kind of editing mistakes you can even watch it at two times speed if you want because even at two times speed you're going to realize if you've forgotten edit or if you stumble over your words or something and have to restart but from there we are going to go ahead and go to the beginning we're going to hit i on our keyboard to add an end point we're going to come to the end here and i like to line up my end with right when the music fades out just like that and hit o so i and o creates the end and out point just like that and then we're going to go up here to file and we're going to go to export and we're going to go to media so what i do when i need to export is i just use a really basic preset that is built inside of premiere pro so the format is h264 the preset is already right here youtube 1080p full hd i select that and the output name here where it says sequence one i'll click that i'll name it the final title of my video and then i'll hit export and that's it my video is exporting it's time to upload it to youtube and that is pretty much my entire process of editing a video it's got a lot of presets it's got a lot of tips and techniques that I use when I'm editing my videos to speed it up to make sure I can get a video edited in like three hours max. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the tips that I showed you inside of Premiere Pro. And even though I did edit this video inside of Premiere Pro, a lot of this stuff applies to DaVinci, Final Cut, things like that, where you can save presets and save templates for your projects to speed up your editing. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I edit a video. I want to do more videos like this based inside of Premiere Pro or based just around editing. I think I might do this exact same video in the future 
tutor of how to edit my videos inside of DaVinci and how to edit my videos inside of Final Cut Pro. So no matter what kind of editor you are, no matter what software you use, you know exactly how I edit my videos to help speed up your workflow as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've said that a lot. I usually do say that a lot and I will see you guys in the next one.